Kaboom. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the AIB Show. This is Amit. And, and Dominic. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little rundown of what we're trying to accomplish here. Right. So last time we did this, which was two weeks ago, right? We said we're going to switch to a two week schedule. And as part of the two week schedule, we're going to, in essence, um, do some actual production work and stuff like that. Right. Um, so two weeks have gone by. Dominic was in DR. Dominic's back. And for those of you watching on, on, you know, on, 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 on Facebook, dude is wearing a headset as if he's working like the pit crew of some F1 race. Or a really or old Taco gamer. Bell, or, or yeah, take or your exactly order. taking your order, right? <laughs> you know, he's meanwhile he's got a headset that has a mic on it, and then simultaneously he's got a mic, uh, separately he's got a mic. So the logic is completely lost. I don't understand why you have two mics, and why not just use the mic on your headset? Because I'm very perplexed by what's going on here. Jordan, Jackson, Tyson, Game Six, Mike. I'm, I, <laughs> I, bro, it's like it's, it's like you're trying to it's like you're so you're trying to annoy people it's like it but i literally don't understand what you are like i'm looking at you and i'm confused you're doing a I, professional production now we're not because you have why do you have two mics because this is legit guy nobody has two mics when they're legit is my okay. point so we have a new like you mentioned i think i stepped away for a second a new format we're going to be releasing episodes every two weeks with actual video content we used to do those audiograms with an image and the words displayed across the screen. We're gonna do some of those and some video stuff. But this fool was irate with me for not a bunch of reasons. Okay, well, let's talk about this and let's discussing this. this. No, hold up. So I go to Dominic. I go wait two weeks, right? It's usually <laughs> two weeks. So with, okay, here's the format, by the way. Um, segment one of every episode is me bitching about Dominic doing something wrong, right? So let's start that <laughs> way, right? This is gonna be a standard going forward. So number one, I go to this guy. I'm like, hey. Let's, 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 let's do, let's do some actual prep, right? Let's not just come on here and freelance and freelance, right? Now, by the way, we're, we're freestyle, sorry. And by the way, we're freestyling right now. And he goes, all right. So last night after I messaged him, I'm like, yo, Doug, are we doing this tomorrow? Cause I've heard nothing, the mum's a word for five, for two weeks, right? Sorry, I'm just curious. And he's like, he's like, yeah, he proceeds to send me a word doc. Right, like an email. He no, goes, no, no. The text, email. the text first. Oh, he goes. He texts me. He goes, yeah. And he goes. Five bullet he goes, points. And he goes. And he goes. He sends me a text with some stuff. And I was like, why are you sending it to me in text? We have, by the way, we have a notes that we share, like a, like an Apple Notes thing. So this way we can both update stuff, mm. add links, do whatever on our mobile devices, on our laptops, wherever an Apple product is, and we have many of those, iPad, etc. So he proceeds to send this to me in text, not via our agreed upon medium. Then no, no, goes, but, 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 but give the consent. You complained, mm. literally wrote, this is something we need to discuss properly, not just a mm. list on text. We got to com go, commit time to making this commitment. Correct. I so which I said, hold your horses. I'm going to get you something. And then he gets me the same thing. No, 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 no conversation. No. More detail. In a Word doc. Yes. A Word doc. And so I got to go download this Word doc, make red lines and said Word doc, send it back to him via email because which this you did not living, do. Because, because you're living in 1990. Why the F would you not use a Google Doc or bring in the, the thing we're ready to use notes? We're using notes forever. Because <laughs> I was right? sitting with so my So out of protest, I was like, I'm not going to do anything with this guy because this is stupid. Of, now you have to download downloading Out of a protest thing. to spite yourself because it goes against everything you've wanted no, to do. No, it so doesn't. As we're, about to, record this, as we're about to record this, he goes, let's go live. I said, we can't go live. You just said we have to plan. And discuss, but the fact that you didn't do that, you did it with <laughs> docs like you're in 1990, we're in friggin' college. Like, what is wrong with you? Is my how do you how Wing, do you run a business? Wingdings, how do you survive? Like, like I, I, I don't understand you. Like, when you work, like, this is how you this is how you work. No, no, my, my work is all red lines on Word docs, so yes, boom, in your face. It's with whom those are contracts and agreements, yes. Uh, agreements and contracts. Okay, yes. those aren't live docs that we're trying to, we're trying to tailor together, man. Obviously, there's a difference. It's versioning there. There's no versioning what we're doing. So yes, this is this is this is issue number one with me. But I'm looking at this guy's list right now. We'll go off what he has here. And the first things first he's got here is live golf, huh? Really? Go for it. So. Uh, PGA Tour, those that don't know, that's 
for lack of a better comparison, that's the NBA of golf, NFL of golf, PGA Tour, right? Um, recently, I guess last year, Live Golf was created by and the just a um, PGA, by the way. It's not the PGA Tour. The PGA Tour is a tour, but PGA is the NBA as the NFL because it's the Professional Golf Association, which is PGA. But yeah, it's, that's semantics. It's, it's, it's semantics. F U G H. Sorry, continue. Sorry, continue. Uh, Live Golf was created, funded by the uh, Saudi oil fund. You know, there's been a lot of con controversy if they were or are behind, you know, 9-11 attacks. And also just, of course, the oppressive government. They killed the journalist whose name I can't remember. Jamal, uh, Jamal Khashoggi. Yes. Um, well, they offered. Oh, thanks, thanks for putting your phone on silent too, by the way. That was your phone. Stupid money. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, who are you, Trump? You can just, I'm literally calling you over to do something. You're saying it's mine when you know you did something wrong. All right, continue. Uh, China. Now, they offered <laughs> stupid money uh, to players. I mean, suppose they offered Tiger Woods 800 to 900 million dollars. Um, They offered some other players hundreds of millions. Those who accepted, Phil Mickelson took 200 million. Some guy, Dustin Johnson, 125. Few others over 100, Bubba Watson 50, but others turned down. One guy turned down 300 million, someone else turned down 125 million. This individual turned on 125, he's only 25 years old. He had made so far in earnings in his career 12 million, which is pretty insane, right? Great, but 12 million is nothing compared to 125 million dollars. So they turned this money down. Some of them the out of say less than 10 percent. Some of them out of what did you say? I said doing the math is less than twelve percent, right. ten percent. Exactly. Some of them were doing it out of um, protest towards the Saudis, right? Taking a moral stand. Others were just trying to stay loyal to the PGA Tour, because the PGA Tour was also suing these players, doing it and preventing them from playing on their tour. Long story short, out of the blue last week, it was announced PGA merged with Live Golf. Every player set on the tour said they had no idea this was happening. This wasn't discussed. The same commissioner who had ra rallied against joining Liv, who told his players, I'd be very concerned about their, um, their scruples and their morals and everything that the Saudis did, has now decided to lay in bed with them. And of course, many of the players are irate. And then there are those who say, we missed out on generational wealth. And which we could have taken and now still being a part of the PGA. So at the end of the day, it's what you always talk about. It's hypocrisy and it's what we look out for what's best for us. And that's what the PGA felt. There's been rumors that they've been having financial struggles and this was inevitable. They had to do this. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, take the money. It's kind of like the, the stance we talk about, you know, protesting Chick-fil-A or Publix or not shopping there. It's, what do you do? I mean, do you take generational? Do you take that money and do? What are your opinion? Would you so have that's taken interesting, and done right? something good with the money? Taking the bad money, of course, help your life, but also maybe I don't know. If you're getting one twenty-five, you know, take well, thirty million of that, fifty million thing, though, right? towards good use. Here's the thing, though. When people call out the moral argument in sports, I I, I just have to laugh. Period. Cross the board. There is no more. You, because whatever you do in sports, I shouldn't say it's sports. It's, yeah, the people giving you money in sports, end of the day, paying your bills, end of the day, generally speaking, your sponsors, et cetera, all, or the great majority, I'll say great majority, so I'm not, being, not making a blanket statement, have something in their past or something that they currently do that you have to look beyond because of the greater benefit of your financial well-being. And it's not saying that you can say no to them because, again, there's only – that's just the way the, the world currently works, right? The, the, the majority of funds out there, um, there are some, some ill-gotten ways to achieve a lot of the funds out there. The Saudi game is very interesting to me because the Saudi game, everybody's like, oh, my God, I can't believe we're doing business with the Saudis and this, that, or whatever. F off. And the reason I say that is twofold. We just had a World Cup out, out in that region in general. Ain't nobody really give a crap. 
all the morals and all the whatever's, oh my God, we, done. Didn't matter. Hey, here's some money. Sure, we'll be right there. Right? So don't like people grandstand about these things and they're going to do it anyway. I, I find it just stupid. Like it's unnecessary grandstanding, right? Who are you ingratiating yourself to? The public? Right? Like what? Not only that, but I, it's, it, it, there's, 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 no, there's no value prop in doing so, right? You can fight against Saudis all you want. Case in point, so, uh, football, soccer fans, right? Your team is not owned by these peoples, right? Or owned by Russian oligarchs, owned by whatever else. So the morality, you know, get out of my life. Like, it's stupid, right? And the Saudis ain't stopping here, right? And this is just a known, it's a known thing. But again, nobody, man, if you're going to, and I'll, uh, it does get political, but I'll say it in this way, right? Every Republican, right, who is, oh my God, 9-11, we got to go to war and blah, blah, blah. Same Republicans, pro-Trump, same Trump, pro-Saudis, and oh my God, we forgot about 9-11. So my point is, majority people, their moralities, they're just, they're lying to themselves or they're just jumping on whatever the topic of the day is. So take the money. As you said. What are you going to do? Yeah. Rory, I just thought Rory McIlroy, McElroy, Rory McElroy, McElroy turned mm-hmm. down 500 million. <laughs> but now again, if you have some crazy moral opposition and you are somebody who generally lives by this lifestyle, Godspeed, man, good for you. The reality yeah. is that's not the majority, right? And if so, the people who are now up in arms aren't up in arms if the Saudis were involved or up in arms now they ain't got their money. So it's still, again... Self-interest. This is yeah, not I mean, about it's, the Saudis. It's, it's about I lost my money. I don't know if it's hypocritical, but it's literally thought, hypocritical. No, 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 no. What I'm th- about to say is my thought process is you got to take the money and do a lot of good with the money, right? So it's it's. But they didn't take the money because they thought they're going to be on the right side of whatever this deal was in the end. Right side meaning the side that would earn them out this money at some point anyway. Yeah, I see. I don't. I see that. Which to me doesn't make sense though, because there's no way how they could fathom that. They thought live would die. Or they he, thought Liv even was so, they could never. There have been people who joined Liv, like who made much less, four million dollars mm. in one event, and that was more than they made their whole career. So how do you? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's not a morality. Contemplate so the fact that on a PGA lot of people you could make. But, and I'm with you, right? Like if you assumed you could just hang out with PGA and make the same amount of money, that's on you. If you did it because you were truly morally opposed to whatever, or I, I whatever, I support that. It's your business, so God speak to you. I mean, you can't be mad at that. No, that's what I'm saying. It's your business. If you, you fully you, did right? that and said, "I'm going to sacrifice my correct generational so now, wealth." Okay, so that. now, so now, I actually, I actually respect that. I don't know if I could do that, but I respect no. that. Okay, so let's let's play this. Let's play that. Uh, let's play this out a little further. So now they're merged with the PGA. So now you have two. You have two things you can do right now. Are they you gonna can, quit the PGA? Now? Ah, there you go. You hold your morals and go f these guys because I truly don't like the Saudis. I'm gonna PGA, exactly. or exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna bitch the fact that I didn't get my money. Yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's gonna be the latter for 99 percent of these people. Because if you're doing it for morals, they shouldn't be playing right now because the I'm partner is now. I'm with you, but then they're gonna say, "Hold up!" But then I still gotta feed my family and whatever else. But if you're gonna feed your family, that's cool. Don't bitch about the money you lost. Just can you put your head down, do the PGA stuff, and you're good to go, right? Point being, generally speaking, it's not about the Saudi game. It's about oh crap, I I backed the wrong horse. Yeah. So, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a soccer fan, but I mean, war and so the World Cup and whatever else, right? Did I boycott the World Cup? No. Did I watch the World Cup? Not really either. But that's not a boycott. That's just a lack of interest. But. I don't know anybody who actually boycotted the World Cup. And the only way to cause any change is through boycott. And then what they're doing right now, the Saudis, the Saudis are trying to, so for those who don't realize, what the, the, the pitch apparently is that the Saudis are trying to quote unquote whitewash their dollars, right, via sports. So this way they change the way people look at their country and what Dominic mentioned about all the things that are bad and things that are not good and whatever, whatever. Um, and that's kind of one of these things that. I mean, not necessarily true, right? Like, it's even if it is, like, you're saying that the U.S. dollars are very nice and whitewashed. You're saying that the oil money we get from other situations are good to go. You're saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 it's, it's, it's so foolish in its morality that I, I, I don't understand what's going on here. And, right, and, like, if you can do that and say, oh, I don't support this, but, you know, uh, 
FTX can support my team or liquor brand X or um, what should I call it? Or and everything, by the way, and on all of these, by the way, have hurt people, killed people, etc. So just don't bring your morality and stuff, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. Take the money. Help your family, help the community, help other people, help wherever you can. You Do take it, 100 it, million, it, you can do a lot of shit with I'm that. not going to lie to you. You brought you the Chick-fil-A a thing, and it, and it brought me into my head. I was like, if Chick-fil-A goes, hey, admit, here, and I loathe Chick-fil-A, by the way, right? And loathe is actually, I don't eat Chick-fil-A, which is my foolish moral opposition to them, but that's me, right? Um, is it affecting them? By no means is it. They're, they're thriving sans admit. Um, but also my abs are thriving sans Chick-fil-A. Boom. But... <laughs> Um, <laughs> but no, on the real, like a Chick-fil-A goes, Hey, here's 120 million. Thank you, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, what do you want me to do at this point? You know, I'm going to take it and I'll do something with it. You know, maybe I'll give it back to the LGBTQ community, right? Maybe I'll do something good with it. Maybe I won't, but I'll still take the money is my point. Right. Cause I am, I know where I fall in this selfish realm also. Right. So yeah, there is that. Um, Are you still talking to me? Okay, good. All right, we'll move on to, okay, so that covers topic one. We'll polish this up in post. I'll put some sounders or whatever. I don't have any sounders right now, so it'll sound cooler later. So, so little show prep. We're supposed to have sound transition into between segments, but this guy, speaking of hypocritical. Where's, hold, this, oh, hold up. You want me to play like a random, I don't even know the sounds I even have here hooked up. Hold up, let's see what we have. Yep, can't even hear that, so I don't even All know. Right. So just All move right. on. Yeah, great, great job. Mm, yeah, who'd have thought? Uh, I'm, I'm checking stuff out now. All right, next up, we've got Amit's Entertainment Hour. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And by hour, he means like two minutes. <laughs> yes. I was like, you put hour on there. I was like, guy, I don't know if you know what an hour <laughs> is, but uh, if we did an hour's entertainment, that'd be pointless. Spider-Man Across the Multiverse came out last week. Across the Spideyverse came out last week. Oh, amazing. I don't know if you ever oh, saw the I was, first I one. I thought now. you were gonna say horrible. Oh god. What no nah, man? One of the it was so dope. Brave. So dope. Just gonna yell your kid on the on mic. You gotta watch Spider-Man this weekend. Did you see the first one? Oh yeah. Bro, so dope. Like it's two hours and change. At no point did I look at my watch. Like I'm in the movie the whole time, chuckling. It's it's got emotion. The the soundtrack is dope. It's visually friggin' ridiculous. The movie's amazing. So if you can see it in like IMAX or whatever, bro, it's it's worth it. Look, it's dope. And Dominic's talking Ooh. to his kid about this right now. Um, no, I'm excited. It's great, bro. The movie is it's solid. Like it's a really, really, really solid movie. So I highly recommend it. And it was one of those things where I was like, yo, this was not. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I knew it'd be good, but I didn't know how good. And it was all of that stuff. On the other side, how's the music? Like the the first bro, one, great. The soundtrack is dope. The sound, mm -hmm. like it's the sound. It's just all the, the soundtrack is dope. You're hearing the characters. You know some of the voices, and you see hear the voices and hear the people. There is like it's there's so many there's so many like Spidey verses that are just crazy. Like I can't even describe it. They do the Spider Man meme thing in a very funny way. They do um like just the way they're shooting the scenes or just I mean shooting, yeah the way they animate it is just ridiculous. Like legit thousand animator type situation. It's insane. It took them so many years to do this because the last one came out, I think, like four years ago. Um, and then there's another one. This is one of two. So the next one comes out next March. So so that's it. So you leave on a cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. you know, spoiler alert, one. jackass. Thank you. Hold up. Everybody knows this part's a two part foolish. Is that a I did not know this. Okay. I'm sorry. Hold up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It, it's a known dynamic guy. I it don't know not about that, bro. I don't, I don't know about that. Hold up. Your knack of internet sleuthing is not anybody else's situation or just common knowledge, I would say. You know, there's that. Um, then on Friday was, not was, Transformers Rise of the Beasts opened in theaters. Uh, not going to lie to you, man. I watched the first one. I watched, I watched, I've seen I all of them. I haven't watched them in years. Like, I've seen know. all of them. Um, why? But I'm kind of done now. Why? And I didn't need this one, but it's uh, it's the same director who did Creed Two, by the way. Um, but I haven't I, seen two I, or three, so try not to spoil those either. No, I started watching Creed Three on the plane, 
and then just went to sleep. Just had no interest in it. I'll probably give it a try on another flight next this week or whatever that I'm on. I did see 45 on the plane. 65. I almost watched it. I decided to watch John Wick 4, and I didn't get to finish John Wick okay. 4. Okay. 65. Just trash. Marvel? Oh, yeah. my God. Is it trash? Like, the CGI is trash. The plot line is trash. Like, I, 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 I want to talk to you about the ending because it just doesn't make any sense to me, and I'm sure I'm not looking at it right, but, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, it, 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 it wasn't it wasn't simulating at all. It was pretty mediocre. And there's that. Um, and there's there is really yeah, there's there's a couple of things coming out next week. We'll talk about that next week when they come out. But yeah, um, there is a lot of there is there is there is. How do I say this? There's a lot of mediocrity out there um, so far, but in theaters, by the way, Flash will come out next week, which is this week. By the time you guys listen to this, which is going to be amazing. So your tickets for that one. So Flash is coming out that that week. Um, like I mentioned, this is their Extraction 2 will come out for you to watch at home um, if you watch the first Extraction. Did you watch the first with Chris Hemsworth? Yes. On Netflix? So part two, part two comes out next week as well. Um, so there's some good stuff coming down the pike. So right now, go watch Spider-Man. It was totally worth it. That concludes amidst our apparently. And I'm glad Dominic added a lot of content to that too. Thank you, Dominic, for the banter. <laughs> I don't know how that is that is that supposed to that's the end of a segment or that's because yes. you agree with my take. No, it's transitioning to a new segment. I don't know if that's transition, but I right, continue. It's not really transition music. That's more like supportive music, but continue. This yeah. is the segment called Dominic, Dominic is, is mad. Dominic is mad. Yeah, I think which is okay. Go ahead. Um, I'll be quiet for this one, I'm sure. Can talk. <laughs> so I don't know if you heard in Ocala, Florida last week, a mom was killed. Um, I wouldn't say protecting her kids. So, okay. Mom of four kids, AJ Owens, black woman, um, lives in proximity to a white lady called Suzanne Lawrence. And the reason I, I'm saying the race is, is because Suzanne has admitted to using racial epithets towards the kids and other people have heard it as well over time, right? Um, and the kids were playing in a grassy knoll in between the apartment complexes. What and causes you to know, by the way? Yeah, no, I just felt like saying that. No, but we'll, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, I just said grassy area and I switched it to no. Oh, okay. I don't, okay. Know, <laughs> I don't um, know what a grassy knoll is. All right, continue. Kids were playing. The mom was, uh, the, the white lady, Suzanne, was getting upset. The kids making noise. Um, came out and threw something at one of the kids. Hit a uh, roller skate, actually. Hit one of the kids. No, I'm sorry. Threw a roller skate at the kids? Yeah, hit a, one of the 10 year old kids. Yep. With a skate? Yeah. That's a pretty um, heavy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then this whole debacle and kerfuffle, the kids and the, the kids' mom left, but they realized they left an iPad right on the scene. Turns out Suzanne took the iPad, took it to her house. Mom went to the house, knocked on the door, got shot through the door, through killed. the door, shot her through the door, killed her. Um. Suzanne is claiming she didn't get and she didn't get arrested or charged for days. Crazy. Suzanne is claiming that the woman was the mom was banging so hard and aggressively on the door. She thought she was going to kick it in and break it down. So she so she shot her. Um, yeah, so there's evidence of this woman calling them the N word, calling the kids over time. You little slaves get away. You disgusting little slave, like all this stuff. Right. Um, and it was just wow for days they never they never even arrested her. I I I just don't get it. Like let's you say really even this woman was banging aggressively on the door, which there doesn't had, doesn't seem to be any evidence of this. But even if so, you shot her through the door. It's not like the woman came in your house standing around all that stuff, right? Is that um, the gun is Alabama? It's Florida, Ocala. Oh, sorry, Ocala, you said. Where woke comes to die. No, people come to die. Yeah. And woke. According to Santos and his wife had that on her leather jacket the other day. Florida where woke comes to die. Uh, so that's Florida for you. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know where to go with that. That's that's crazy. It's crazy. So the four kids now are, you know, gonna live with their grandma. And they witnessed the sad thing is they witnessed this happen. Oh, hold it's up. tragic went... enough. It's tragic enough that it happened. Right? They witnessed it happen. It's horrific. 
Yeah. You threw a skate? Yeah. Bro, Roller skate. I, I, I'm, I'm without speech. That's just crazy. Yeah, this is, this, this is the, the world and the state, literally, that we live in. Friggin' Florida. Friggin' Florida. Which kind of speaks to my, my Hippocratic, yeah, not Hippocratic, my, uh, the, the hypocrisy dynamics you mentioned earlier, right? Like, I live here as much as I hate everything DeSantis does and hates the right word. I live here because, personally, the benefits outweigh the problems. And also the hope is that more people like me move here so that we can change it. Mm. All right? That's actually the better goal. That's why when I came here, first thing I did was change, was register to vote. But... Uh, it seems like we're a long way off based on stuff like this. Whole Are you still registered as an independent? Yeah. So I can't vote in primaries or whatever. But then again, you know, I, I, I it's always a lesser of many evils for any kind of voting dynamic for me. Um, all right. I guess we'll go into the next situation here. This is yours. The boom, joke boom. Of the joke of the week. South Carolina, Juneteenth Festival. Juneteenth Festival received backlash for featuring only white people on the banners advertising the event. From whom, Dominic? No, no, it wasn't actually backlash from just white people. It's everyone. Uh, no, I was saying from people? I was saying from anybody with any morals? Anybody with any thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Who, who, who designed this? Oh, who did, well, who designed it was actually a black guy. <laughs> okay, now I'm so confused. You got to walk me through this now. You tell me a black guy created Juneteenth poster with white people on the posters. Yes. yes. Were these white people like having a jubilant fun time at a bar? Yes, scene? yes. Yeah, I saw one where the two of them are kind of like walking and smiling through the park. <laughs> Yo, dog. <laughs> so he thought it was a way to get inclusion and white people involved and everything. And, you know, you got people saying like, that's not what this is for. We, like, yes, we want them involved, but why are they the face of I mean, our at freedom? Least, at least, at least have both. <laughs> yes, exactly. If you're gonna this do had, that, at least have both. Had only white people in the advertising. Wow. Uh, Designed by black dude too. That that yes. threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that one. That's yep. amazing in its in its lunacy. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. All right, that's quite all right. I'll give you that. All right. Um, who knows? Today's segment of Who Knows. Take a stab at the most visited city in the world mm. last year. Most visited city in the world. Is it in America? No. New York did not make the top five. I thought it, I thought it would have made top five. It's in Asia. Singapore? I believe I said city. No, oh, you did. Sid, sorry, sorry. Uh, I mean, well, it's, yeah, I, I got nothing for you, bro. I'm trying to think right now. Bangkok, Thailand, in yeah, really interesting. Have you been? Have, have you already know my limited travel <laughs> exposure <laughs> worldwide? Guy? I mean, have I been this jackass? <laughs> have I been? Oh, god. Um, hold up, I'm gonna die. All right, I'm going to double down on this, right, with twofold. One is, did you hear about a $130,000 speeding ticket in Finland? No. All right. Explain. So apparently, this dude got a ticket in Finland. Um, he was going 20. So on Sunday, the man in Finland was fined uh, 121,000 euros, approximately $130,000, for going 20, approximately 20 miles over the speed limit, right? This is in Helsinki. Now, so here's a dynamic, though, right? Going how fast over the speed limit? 20 over the speed limit, right? I think it was only like 50 and a 30 or something to that effect. Um, but, here's, but here's the reason behind this, right? They have a law in Finland where the fines are commensurate with your... Your income? Well, not income, but your wealth, <laughs> right? So... In essence, so let's say the fine is whatever. The fine should be 1% or a point, per, what are the percentages of your income? If they charge this man, for example, $100 or $120 for going 20 over, it's not going to affect this dude at all because this dude is one of the richest dudes in Finland, right? I think he's like the richest person in Finland. Um, so, and with the rest of the populace as well. 
right? So now this is, so it's scalable. So I ask you, what do you think about this overall? Like just as a concept. Think about it. it. People, poor people, poor people getting, poor people getting tickets, $420, it'll affect them significantly greater, right? So again, if it's a representative Mm. of their their wealth. It's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of like a tax bracket when you, when you break it down. Okay. But literally, exactly what that is. Yeah. So how do you feel? In concept, I like it. I just can't one hundred thirty thousand dollars for a ticket. Just... Again, realizing what this is to you, you're saying one hundred thirty thousand dollars to this guy. He's like, $10? yeah, but, but if 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 you or me or Bezos, it one hundred thirty thousand is still a lot of money. I forget Bezos, so somebody who's very well. It's still it depends a lot on how wealthy. Of money. No, but there's a percentage. It's always a percentage. So yeah, forget people, the dollar. Let me let me tell you this. If you, okay, forget this. Forget Bezos' wealth. Suppose you were liquid and had five million in the bank. Mm-hmm. Liquid, right? Twenty thousand dollars. Still, it, you're you're not just going to be like, oh, let me just throw twenty thousand out the window. If I told you I, I just stole speeding. twenty thousand from you, you're going to be like, okay, that's fun. Or you're going to be like, but oh, a damn train lost. speeding. So the purpose is to deter you. The purpose is not to take your money. The purpose is, to, hey, don't speed. Right. And if I'm going to lose twenty k. I'm gonna be a little more apprehensive about the speeding dynamic, am I not? Or a parking ticket or whatever it may be. Yeah. One would assume I'm gonna follow the law. One would assume that the law would have now actual teeth. Not actual teeth. I like it in a utopian <laughs> sense. It gets complicated where you say it's based on your wealth. Now, what do you start talking about assets how you and determine, liabilities, yeah, how, how you, you determine that. wealth? Yeah. What what if you have some debts that you need to pay all of a sudden? I'm with you, but now, you to, now you're getting to the minutiae. I don't understand yeah. how I don't understand how you determine somebody's wealth this way, to your point. And also, if you give me a ticket, then you gotta go back to the IRS for like a better word and be like, hey, how much do I gotta charge this dude? You know what I'm saying? It seems like an interesting kind of dynamic. I don't know how you determine these things across the board, but crazy that homie got a hundred and thirty thousand dollars speeding ticket. Right? That's just some dollars. I mean, that's just it's mind blowing that that's the situation there. So when I heard about that, I was like, yo, that is just madness. All right. Um, and then the last thing I'll add here is, well, you don't actually go back to work. You, all right. So right now, a lot of companies. So, so time out. Mm-hmm. You failed to transition. Clearly, we're in the random thoughts. Oh, segment. yeah. Random thoughts. This guy. You know, you know, for anybody, for the dozen people who actually listen to this, or the, or the 500, whatever it is. 500. Everything he's complained about, he's completely just disregarded in this one episode. Yes. This is like, he's I just told you, I'm doing that protest. I told you this. <laughs> I literally used the words before we started that I'm going out of protest. Wait, this is this is PJ protest. Who are you protesting? Who's this affecting? You. It's affecting you. you. It's not affecting me you. because this is how I normally do it. That's why it bothers me. So you can see That's how frustrated you are me. that I'm not following the situation just like I feel every day when you do this. Transitioning to random thoughts. Yes. Good. You, you had the first one. No, no, you there. had something. I interrupted you. No, no, no. Out. Use your first one. I'll come after. Go. All right. The whole milk vibes is just foolishness. <laughs> like the, the way they're advertising nut milk, banana milk. Like my brother in law, he does the other day. Is a thing? Hmm? Banana milk is a thing? Yeah. He's like, I'm about to buy some banana milk. And I, I, I text him, I, bro, stop it. He goes, no, I'm serious. I go, stop it. Like, it been banana, oh, banana milk? milk? No, no. What is banana milk? You know what it is? It's I don't. Vanilla, that's banana what it juice. Is. That's what it should be called. What's it's, banana juice? You it's just like you get banana juice. juice and you're putting some sprinkle of vanilla flavor into it. Banana milk. No, it named vanilla banana juice. <laughs> so it's a banana Nut milk. Milk. Shape? Milk comes from animals. That's it. There's no other milk. Nut milk. Cashew milk. This milk. No. We need, you know, stop, milk, we need to stop the madness. You know, the milk lobby is actually fighting against that literally right now. Fighting against saying, them using milk? Yes. I guess everybody who's using milk. Oh, they should. Be, because it's like, it's like, hey, it's an it's, it's a almond beverage or, or whatever. Yes, it's not it's milk. It's almond milk. So what's funny is if you go to Trader Joe's, it says almond beverage on their Trader Joe's almond milk situation. It doesn't say almond milk on it. Huh. It, it never has. And I was always like, huh, I wonder why. And uh, the reality is, you know, there is no such thing as almond milk. So stop the madness with calling things milk. But banana milk, man. I'm so hooked banana on Banana milk. Yeah. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm sorry. The other ones make sense? No, but I mean, I understand from a nut, you can get, you add some water to, you get some whatever, and you create almond milk, right? I get it. Like, I get how you can do that. The banana milk to me is like, 
it's like a banana milkshake at this point. Like it just is like, what am I putting banana milk in? Am I putting it in my coffee? Like, <laughs> I have, I, my I cereal? Know. Like, what am I, I using banana milk for? Whatever you put banana, v- vanilla banana juice in. Nothing is my point. I eat bananas. <laughs> I put vanilla if I'm if I'm making a banana bread. But who the f is drinking banana milk? What was he, okay? What was he buying it for? That's another question. Good question. I don't know. You didn't ask this man. What is he doing? No, I don't business why he's buying. I, just the fact that I was so caught up on the freaking banana milk. But you didn't ask why. No. What? Some horrible reporting, man. You gotta ask why. Because now that makes more sense to me. Text him right now. Ask him why he bought banana milk. Is it for his cereal? Is it for his coffee? You're just drinking a glass of banana milk? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is this man doing with banana milk? Just sipping on some banana right? milk. Right? Like, I mean, homies at the office having banana milk? Like, I don't understand this. Why would you do this? I'm very curious to know why he purchased. And also, who schooled him to this? Is banana milk sitting down in the aisles these days in the, in, 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 in the, in the supermarket? Because I've not Ev- seen evidently. it. Evidently. And do you have to refrigerate banana milk? Or is banana milk just cool, at, at, like hot, sitting on, on the countertop? So many questions. I, so many questions here. Banana milk. Ugh. All right. Yeah. When he'll, he'll text back. I'm curious about that one. What I was getting to, the other part of this was work from home. So you've always worked from home. Um, I use that word work loosely. But you've always worked from home. Right? Yeah, most of my life. Okay. With your current occupation, based on what you do for a living, i.e. real estate, you don't have to go to the office, period. There were, pre-COVID, post-COVID, there was no such thing. As no, and since they period. took away the office. No, no, but even uh, in a pre-COVID world, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. No, I had one one company I worked for was upset that we, uh, me and other brokers weren't in there every day at, at the computer. Yes. But. Okay. But no, to, to my long-winded answer is do not have to. Correct. So what's interesting is, so right now, a lot of companies, so Google, for example, right? Google, Google came out and this is going on and Google said originally, hey, work from home, do whatever you want. It's great, blah, 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 right? Now Google's come back and Google said on Wednesday, last week, they go, Google warned workers that if they don't abide by the company three-day in-office requirement, it'll be noted in their performance reviews. Right. So it is they 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 don't want to fire anybody, do whatever else, but this is the next best thing they can do is doing performance reviews, which means it'll affect you financially at some point later on. Right? But they went a step further. And then so uh, Google's chief people officer told staff the email, there there is just no substitute for coming together in person. Now, mind you, I agree with that, right? Like I think there's a value. I'm on the road all the time because I need to see people in person. There, there is a true value prop there. I'm not disputing. This, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm interested in their how they've gone about this as a company, right? But they actually, so it's funny, right? Because they go, hey, there's no substitute to coming together in person, despite the company famously developing an entire suite of products to, in fact, not come together in person, right? <laughs> Including Google Chat and whatever else, right? Then here's the other part of the drama of this one, right? Google said that for everyone who comes back to the office, they will donate $10 to, was it Google said this? Hold up, I wanna make sure it's Google, yes. Um, okay, so sorry, so Salesforce now, right? So all these companies are doing it, Google, Salesforce, Farmer, so on and so forth. Salesforce tried a different tactic than Google versus putting in your, in, your, in, your, um, in, your, in your permanent record. Salesforce said, um, the software giant said, it would donate $10 to local nonprofits every day an employee comes into the office between June 12th and June 23rd. How much is that potentially? I'm assuming there's a bunch of people in the office. Let's say there's 500 people in the office, for example. But is that motivating you as an employee? Be like, okay, I'm going to come Just give me the money, your... man. So you if can you give to... away $10? Yeah, if you're going to give away $10 every day, I come in. Just give me the money. I'll come back. But would you come back for $10? A day? A day? Extra? For no. this? It's extra money. If that covers stuff, I'll take the extra, period. Don't give somebody money on my behalf. That's my point. I'll do that. <laughs> you feel me? If you want me to donate, I will gladly donate, but don't give it on my behalf. Like, that's not a gift to me. Yeah. Right? Unless I get to write that off my taxes and a gift to me. Like, that's what I don't get. But the bigger thing now is with all the people going back, with all the going, going back to the office situations, um, you, you, you're going to get some interesting dynamics coming up right now for a lot of people, myself included, who don't live in the city I lived in pre-COVID. Right? The people who've moved, changed situations, et cetera. It's going to be an interesting year because more and more companies are doing this. And we're going to see how this transitions, but it's going to be weird for a lot of people who have literally moved, bought houses, done whatever else in places that aren't 
where work happens. Well, you know, for me, I'm that guy who refuses to be on video on, on any of the calls, Zoom. Yeah, like meets. This, is, this is where this is this is the, the mountain you want to die on, which is like the dumbest mountain. You can ever multitask when you're not on video. You can multitask on video. No, because they see you multitasking. Bro. And also it means I can get up and get some food, you know, do whatever, but I can also do other things. Well, I mean, you shouldn't be on video with that headset you have on right now. You definitely <laughs> have to video with that. That alone, I will not take if you go, hold, let me let me lease no, you this building. You not you never get on a call and have people with this kind of headset? Bruv, your headset has like a blue situation. It's it's, <laughs> literally, it's literally your son's headset, is it not? Or your daughter's. It is not it's an adult. My son's. Yes. Exactly, man. This, this headset was built for 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 a pubescent teen, not an old man and is with grays and losing hair. Right? You should not be wearing this headset. And I still don't know why you're wearing this headset because you have a mic and you keep moving the mic on the headset as if you're talking into it for God knows what reason. Like you literally adjust it. Nothing's happening. <laughs> on the mic. You could have just left it at the top the whole time and I wouldn't even notice. All right, so All right, back to van vanilla banana juice. Oh, yeah, he got back to you, okay. You're, uh, I didn't buy it, saw it in my local spot, contemplated the non-dairies have so much shit in them. Yeah, it's not, just, it's not just banana and water. There's stuff to make it milky. There's stuff to make it thick so it tastes like milk. There's stuff in there to make it last on the shelves. There's stuff in there to not only that. If you actually juiced almonds, you need a lot of almonds to get some almond milk, man. You know what I'm saying? So to play this game too, it's more water than almond. There's a lot of that. Hold up. So did he not try it? No. Man should have tried it. I'm curious. I'm curious to know what goes on here. Experiment. Dominic, two weeks. Buy some banana milk. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. It's vanilla banana juice. Buy some vanilla, uh, buy some vanilla banana juice. That's very wordy. Way to come to a better phrase. And let me know how it tastes. Try to write you things and let me know taste. So what what he, he wrote, it's a great question. I don't even think he knows. What? <laughs> what he's going to put the vanilla banana. <laughs> he's going to buy just to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says, yeah, I guess I was more curious if it tastes like bananas. <laughs> <laughs> That's just such a, I didn't even know that was a product. Honestly, That's just it's ridiculous. Um, I, actually, I actually read something that vanilla banana juice tastes like an extinct banana that's no longer around. So I don't know how they get the flavor. Tastes like an extinct banana? Yeah. How do they know what an extinct banana tastes like? I don't know. Um, Lionel Messi to Miami. Huge news. Is Inter it? Milan. Biggest soccer player in the world is coming to Miami. He already lives on Key Biscayne. I don't know if you knew that. Did not know that. Yeah. I do know when he goes to the restaurant by me, Fiorito, it's, they shut down the streets, literally. Of course. Because everyone um, in the so grandmother runs He's coming to Miami. There. He's getting a piece of ownership, I guess. He'll have rights to buy an MLS team one day he'll get a piece of apple streaming rights um and some kind of adidas stock or a piece of that well because he was um, getting he was getting offered 400 million or something like that right from the saudis or whatever geez. and so this they're paying him 200 and then he gets extra all the other things should add up to about the four and future money obviously something to that effect i from what i understand so a july match at the average ticket price or, or the most expensive ticket was like 23 dollars, and it went up to 470 something dollars already Makes sense. I actually got tickets for September in did LA. You? Uh, I'm saying I, uh, my coworker did <laughs> for for us and clients. Yeah, not, not, for Miami not. in LA. Yeah, for yes. So now I got to go buy some Miami gear to wear to LA. So I'm not the LA guy. Hey, Purely just, just for that reason, or just, not, or just not wear any gear. That's actually a better reason. Yeah, I don't wear any gear anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'll go with that one. But maybe but the, I had a cool Miami, hat. the Miami gear is dope though. It's black and pink are the primary. Yeah, colors. maybe maybe I'll get a cool hat because yeah. amidst not. I mean, it's not a jersey wear in person at all. I I, I I don't like wearing other people's stuff on there, but yeah. All right, so we got that was a great oh, uh, production job yeah, there. We'll we'll, okay. we'll 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 do it better. Also, just a note: this guy writes on this production thing, which he sent me last night, July 9th, as if his dates are <laughs> off completely. This guy's a whole month out in the wrong month, and everything like that, and wrong all the places, and didn't respond by the way. You and should, I couldn't edit it because then you I should have just redlined the date. Back. Just redline the date, and then send it back to you so you can review it next week. Yeah, I'll hit, I'll, I'll, I'll accept change. Yes, and then you got to send it back to me so I now have the final version <laughs> because you're an idiot. So this is going to be changing formats. We'll update this going forward. We'll keep this going and get better at it, I think. Every two weeks. So when yes. this comes out, the next one will come out two weeks. When you hear this, next one, two weeks after that. Bro, that's how, people that's know how two every weeks. two weeks works. People know, yes, people. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh here's God. the tricky thing. Is it bi-monthly or bi-weekly? You just said two weeks. So bi-weekly. What, what does that mean? 
We didn't say bi-monthly ever. We said bi-weekly. Bi-monthly is what? Oh, bi bi month. Okay, see, this always gets thrown around. Bi monthly yeah. is every other month. Is it okay? Bi monthly is not bi weekly, but I know what you mean, right? Twice a month or bi monthly. They're two different things. I'm saying this confidently, but I don't know that to be true. What is it? You Google it? No, it is. See, that's where you're wrong. They're the, they can be the same thing. Bi monthly and bi weekly yes, are the same thing. Because bi, which can mean occurring every two, or Months. occurring twice in. So bi-weekly can be twice in, in the same week too? Yes. So we're choosing bi-weekly to mean once every we're once two every weeks. two weeks, but it could also mean twice a week. Correct. As That's, can bi-monthly. Man, no wonder foreign people can't speak English very English, well. Exactly. We're making English so English. problematic exactly. for people. Yep. This is ridiculous. All right, so every four, every fortnight. Okay, I, man, now you want to go back and say <laughs> on a blue moon, yeah. we'll do this every as well. Every fortnight we'll release. Kaboom. All right. Justice of order. Take it easy, y'all. Cool.